Hello and welcome to Think Up. In today's program, I want to discuss the attack that happened in Avaz, a southwestern city in Iran, on 22nd of September. Four gunmen opened fire on a military parade in the city. They killed troops that were taking part in the parade and bystanders. I'm here to talk about this attack with Hamid Tavaye, the leader of the Worker Communist Party of Iran. Um, Hamid, welcome. Thank you for having me in this program. Hamid, um, you released a, a press statement saying that, uh, talking about the attack, but actually you start off this press release by attacking the Iranian regime, despite the numbers of uh, 25 people dead, nearly 60 injured. You attack the Iranian regime, calling them sort of a, um, a terrorist organization themselves. Why did you do that? Uh, the reason is that that attack had two sides. One side is, of course, those attackers, those groups behind it, and the other side is Islamic Republic and its armed forces. Everybody is talking about only one side, condemning the attack, calling it terrorist action, and as if Islamic Republic is a victim. But that's not the truth. That's not the case. Islamic Republic itself is a, a terrorist a, a government, a terrorist force in the region, and against people of Iran uh, inside Iran. And the uh, its armed forces are part of the operation uh, 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 policies or fulfillment of the policies of a oppressive uh, government. So, and, and they parade in, in the cities. It's some sort of show of power against people. People of Iran is uh, almost nine months, more than nine months that uh, there is a, a widespread demonstration, uprising against the Islamic Republic. And those, so to speak, parades are show of force against people of Iran. That's why we start our press release with, with just mentioning those points, but, but of course the rest of it is about the attack and the attackers. Um, there are two groups who actually claim to have, uh, to are behind this attack. There's ISIS and there is Alavas, which is like an ethnic political group. Both claim they have done this uh, attack. Um, but in your statement, you don't call it a terrorist attack, what happened in, in Alvarez. You didn't say that. Why is that? Because it is not a terrorist attack. When you, when uh, some forces, doesn't matter what sort of political uh, group or, or uh, uh, organization is, uh, when they attack the forces of a terrorist government like Islamic Republic, you cannot call it an act of terror. It's, it's not been against people, against innocent people. It was against forces, armed forces of Islamic Republic that have got a, a terrorist uh, role in Iran and in Syria, in Iraq, in, in the whole region. Uh, Islamic Republic called it a terrorist attack, of course, because it was to show that it's a victim of that attack and just have sympathy with in, in, in the world in Iran. And also those uh, governments in the West and in the region that's supporting Islamic Republic or have some sort of dip diplomatic or economic relation with Islamic Re Republic condemned it as a terrorist attack. But we don't do that. We shouldn't do that because it's uh, at most is a, a conflict between two terrorist groups. So the action of those two great terrorist groups against each other is not terrorism. But whatever they do against people, of course, is a terrorism. In this case, al Ahwaz, Daesh are terrorist groups. Uh, Islamic Republic is terrorist government, but this uh, event between those terrorists uh, is cannot be condemned as a terrorist attack to to armed forces of Iran. But it is just uh, an action of some some sort of reactionary Islamic ethnic groups against uh, Islamic ethnic government. Um, you are saying actually that the Iranian regime will use this to their own advantage. Um, how are they going to do this? Yeah, of course they do, because they, first of all, as we just talked, Islamic Republic tries to show that it has been a victim. It wants to say that, paint everybody with the same brush, saying everybody against me is a terrorist. They have nothing to do with the, with the actual uh, needs or slogans of people. Uh, they are just uh, armed forces, reactionary forces, uh, and that are supported by Saudi Arabia, supported by US, the thing that they are claiming. And in one fourth of uh, uh, propaganda that 
re re regime started after that attack. The other thing is the uh, is the hate between Arab and Fars uh, 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 because people in Al Ahwaz are most of them speak Arabic, uh, and that Al Ahwaz group uh, it, it claims that is a nation. They want to uh, they 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 try to uh, uh, show that the the reason the problem of people in Ahwaz in 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 that area is because uh, the people uh, the other uh, ethnic group. Uh, uh, Iranian farce uh, 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 nation is uh, governing. So Arab for uh, 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 Ahwaz is a Arabic region. Arab should rule and that sort of thing. So that benefits Islamic Republic because Islamic Republic. So look, those are separatists, Arab separatists. They are terrorists. Daesh is doing that. Islamic Republic mainly blames Daesh, saying Daesh, ISIS does that. So, of course, people hate ISIS, but the fact is that Islamic Republic itself is some sort of ISIS governing in Iran. So that's why Islamic Republic tries. I, I'm not saying that they, the, they succeed in this, but they try at least to say that we are victims of terrorism. And uh, in this case, every, every uh, demonstration against us, uh, every political group against us, it's like Daesh, it's like ISIS, it's like Al Ahwaz, and that's why it is playing in the hands of the Islamic Republic, that, that sort of uh, uh, action. Hamid, we are currently seeing social movements in Iran. They're very active, like the pensioner, the teacher, the women's movement. Will this attack that happened in Ahwaz have repercussions or effect on these movements? In, in short term, it might be so, but I don't think that in, in long term it has any effect on the movement of Iran. I think actually the uh, movement that we're witnessing in Iran now is widespread, is very radical. People know exactly what they want. They are against the Islamic Republic. They are not against each other. Uh, and those, those factors uh, is it, not going to be affected by that, that attack that happened. But in, in, of course, Islamic Republic, as I said, tries to, uh, to tries to uh, just put people against each other as Arab and uh, Fars, as as Sunni and Shias, and that sort of thing. But people know that trick. It, it now people know that 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 regime, and people the the, the main problem of people is uh, now is uh, 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 the the inflation is. Economical problems is uh, 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 unemployment uh, is lack of any sort of freedom in expressing themselves in assembly in protest that sort of thing. People are against execution. Just two weeks ago, we had a uh, uh, strike in Kurdistan against the execution of three political actors. That's what uh, that that's the reason that people are uprising, people are, uh, are, are protesting. So I don't think that Islamic Republic can change that uh, that process or affect it in any way. So uh, it, of course, the propaganda of Islamic Republic would be uh, just showing that Arabs and Fars are against each other and people are, uh, there are problems in the society, it has nothing to do with the Islamic Republic, but people of Iran know that sort of propaganda and wouldn't uh, uh, I think change their course because of what those propaganda. So what do you think those people in Iran and those active in the social movement, what can they do to further their goals? Uh, I think w w one thing is very important and that's solidarity. People are not against each other and they should just focus on the demonstration on those uh, 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 widespread slogans against Islamic Republic against the uh, 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 government of Iran and because they know that no matter what sort of religion or ethnicity or whatever they are recognized with, people know that their problem is uh, uh, the same everywhere in Iran. That's the thing that uh, a, a political uh, organ organization like our party should emphasize, should show the way to people that be united against that sort of 
uh, activities, terrorist attacks, you should be united and you should don't forget the goal. The goal is just uh, 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 fighting Islamic Republic of Iran. And I think people uh, would continue the, the demonstration in this with this direction. And it's not going to be, uh, I think Islamic Republic uh, couldn't succeed in just uh, stopping it or changing the, uh, to, the, to, to a, a problem between different groups of people. The thing that Islamic Republic tries to do, but I don't think that it's going to be successful. Hamid Tabayi, thank you very much for being with us today on the program. Thank you. This was Think Up with Hamid Tabayi about the attack that happened in Avas, a city in southwestern Iran. Until next time, goodbye.